Hello everyone and welcome to Logos College Online Learning. So today it is the last day of uh, online learning with uh, speaking full. So we will continue with Unit 12. Okay, we continue Unit 12 by page 100, Conversation 2. Last week, we were talking about asking and giving opinions. When you discuss a topic with someone else, of course you want to give your opinion and you want to know the opinion of the person you are talking to. Okay, ask and give. All right. When you, get, when you give your opinion, you have to give reasons, okay? If you don't give reasons, we don't know why you think this way, why you have this opinion, all right? You have to justify your ideas, okay? We also learned how to uh, give uh, big opinions on subtopics, all right? Which is important. And to react to uh, the person to the opinion of the person you are talking to. All right. So today we will uh, continue this subject, all right, uh, especially about giving reasons, okay? Now, the first thing that I want to talk about, and this is on the same page, page 100, the pronunciation of the TH sound, which is uh, difficult, um, all right? So here, the first case, with these words, something, through, and think, the TH is strong, all right? The TH represented by this letter here, it's a strong pronunciation, all right, something, thing, all right, but here, with these words, that, they, and then, the th sound is weaker, it's not the same sound, all right, we represent this sound here with this letter, all right, but in English, we use th the same, all right, so this is why this is uh, confusing. And you have to be careful about that, all right? Something, it's not like that, all right? Or they think, they, all right, then. Okay, so be careful because we will use these words in this uh, conversation too, all right? So listen to the conversation now, all right? Conversation two, if you ask me, That movie was so violent. It was hard for me to sit through it. What do you think about violence in movies? Do you think it's harmful? I don't think violence in movies is that bad. Well, if you ask me, I think it is a problem. Kids grow up thinking that it's okay to hurt people. Oh, come on. I think people worry too much about violence on TV and in the movies. It's not something kids take seriously. I don't think it affects their behavior. Oh no? Then why is it that kids nowadays are so aggressive and have so many social problems in school? Well, personally, I think romantic movies with happy endings are silly. They give people unrealistic expectations. Well, that's true. They are superficial, and they don't deal with real-life issues at all. But at least they don't encourage people to commit crimes and kill each other. Okay, so in this conversation, first let's talk about uh, the vocabulary, okay? So here, in this sentence, we have, it was hard for me to sit through it, okay? She is talking about a movie, and what she means here is that the movie is too violent, okay? So this makes 
the movie very difficult for her, all right? It's too violent. So it means uh, it was difficult for her to keep watching the movie. All right, this is what she means with that. Because it's too violent, all right? She has a negative opinion about violence. Next, we have this adjective, harmful, here. Harmful, do you think it's harmful? It means dangerous, okay? And then we have another adjective here, which is uh, here in the conversation, superficial. Superficial means like unrealistic, okay? It means like it's not telling everything, okay? In that case, they talk about uh, romantic movies. When, when we say romantic movies are superficial, it means they don't tell like the reality, okay? They don't tell everything. All right, and then we have unrealistic expectations. Okay, so here, uh, where is it in the conversation? Uh, unrealistic. Mm. Okay, they give people unrealistic expectations. So when we say romantic movies give people unrealistic expectations, it means that they give people a wrong idea of the reality. Okay, it's not entirely true, and then people will have wrong ideas, all right? Maybe, okay, this is what it means. Okay, for the vocabulary. So here, what do we have in this conversation? We have two persons talking to each other, all right? They talk about movies, okay? They discuss movies and they give their opinion you see they give their opinion and they have reasons that support their opinions they have arguments to support their ideas okay this is what I want to talk about right now discussing opinions it also means opposing arguments, okay? Arguments, what are arguments? Arguments that it is something that you say that supports your idea, okay? And your idea, it, it is, we call this thesis, okay? And we say your thesis, it means your idea, okay? So usually, when you want to express your thesis, you just make a simple statement, okay? Like in this conversation, a simple statement, it is, uh, I don't think violence in movies is that bad, all right? This is a simple statement. I don't think violence is that bad, all right, in movies, okay? So this is very important to understand that Thesis needs arguments, okay? And of course, when you uh, discuss, use these phrases to bring your arguments or statements, all right? Because it's about yourself, it's about what you think, okay? So you will say personally, or if you ask me, all right? In my opinion, okay? So let's see how they do that, how they use this in the conversation, all right? So in this conversation, we have two parts. Number one, the two people here discuss violence in movies. This is the first part. And part two, they talk about romance in movies, romantic movies, okay? So it's like two subjects, two topics, all right? So here, in, in the first part, in pink, 
we have the first thesis of Angie. All right. That movie was so violent. It was hard for me to sit through it. Okay. This is her idea about the movie. It is too violent. Okay. She makes a statement and she expresses her general idea about this movie. All right. And then in green, we have the question. All right. She opens the conversation with two questions like that. What do you think about violence in movies? Do you think it's harmful? Okay. She wants to know about John's opinion. Okay. She opens the conversation. And then, as an answer, John gives his idea. John gives his thesis. So I call this thesis two, all right, in the, in, in the first part. I don't think violence in movies is that bad. This is John's idea. This is John's thesis. Understand? Okay. We just have ideas. We just have thesis. Now, to support these thesis, we need arguments. All right? So, we have Angie and John giving arguments about this topic. Okay, violence in movie. Well, if you ask me, I think it is a problem. Kids grow up thinking that it's okay to hurt people. Okay, this is an argument that supports her uh, ID. And then we have John giving another argument and then Angie giving her second argument. All right, argument three. Okay, so you see here, they oppose arguments. This is a discussion. All right. In this, in the second part, discussing romance in movie. Here, John makes a statement. He expresses his idea about romantic movies. He says, "I think romantic movies with happy endings are silly. Silly it means stupid. Okay, this is what he thinks. This is his." idea about romantic movies thesis okay and then he gives a first argument they give people unrealistic expectations this is the first argument that he gives to support his idea okay so you see first you give your idea and then you give an argument, all right? Here, Angie, she thinks the same, all right? She says, that's true. So it means she thinks the same, all right? She thinks like John. She has the same opinion, the same idea. And she adds an argument. Of her own all right they are superficial and they don't deal with real life issues at all okay so this is another argument which supports this idea that uh, romantic movies are silly and superficial all right and at the end we have another sentence uh, which is a comparison with a previous statement. So they make a link with the first part, all right? But at least they don't encourage people to commit crimes and kill each other, all right? So this is a link with violence in movies. And this is like here, Angie, she adds another idea about this another argument about this uh, ID here. We will see this later.
all right understand understand the process first you give your id you give your thesis and you support it with one two three arguments all right okay first asking and giving opinions all right so this is uh the first part uh, so what kind of questions you can uh use to ask what do you think about violence in movies what is your opinion about romantic movies if you ask a question like that you see we have think we have opinion this is we want to know the idea we want to know what you have in your mind okay about this this is the subject this is the topic all right that you discuss with the other person okay and then you have the uh, the answer well if you ask me I think it is a problem so here this phrase if you ask me it means like uh, personally okay this is a, a phrase an expression that you can remember and use all right I really encourage you to use this phrase another answer here Personally, I think romantic movies with happy endings are silly. Okay, so here, if you want to use personally, use it like that at the beginning, at the beginning of your statement. Okay, personally, I think uh, this book is great. All right. Personally, I think I like uh, this food. All right, whatever. Okay. Okay, and after that, the other person will listen to this and maybe the other person will react, all right, react to this, okay, what do we have here? I think so too, I agree, you are absolutely right, all right, the first three sentences here it means you agree with what has been said before okay i agree i think so you are right okay you agree and here i don't think so sorry but i disagree right this is the opposite you don't think the same okay you disagree with what is said here okay Let's look at an example, all right? I have written an example for you. So you have two persons, again, person A, person B, okay? No, I don't want to watch this. I don't like game shows. It is such a waste of time. What? I thought you liked them. Why, don't, why do you think this way? Well, if you ask me, I think they are just stupid. There is nothing interesting in it, and everything is just fake. You're absolutely right about that, but it doesn't matter to me. Moreover, the people don't look real. They all have done facial plastic surgeries. I don't like to see that. Sorry, but I disagree. I think TV people are usually beautiful. I want to look like them. Oh. Okay, so in this example, I used the phrases that uh, we have seen before. What are they talking about? They talk about game shows. Okay, the first thesis that we have is I don't like game shows. Game shows are a waste of time. Okay, person A thinks game shows are a waste of time. This is her ID, this is her opinion, this is her thesis, okay? And then, person B wants to know more, okay? Why do you think this way? I want to understand, I want to, to know, all right? 
So this is where person A gives arguments, gives reasons to support her opinion. Well, if you ask me, I think they are just stupid, there is nothing interesting, etc. These are arguments, all right, to support her negative opinion of game shows. All right, so about this, person B agrees. You're absolutely right about that. Person B agrees, okay? But he, person B adds another, like, okay, he says, like, okay, it doesn't matter to me, all right? Whatever. And then we have even more arguments from person A. People don't look real and they have uh, facial uh, surgeries. Person A doesn't like that, okay? So even more arguments supporting his thesis, all right? And then about this, person B disagrees, all right? But I disagree, okay? And then he gives his opinion about the subject, about TV people, all right? He thinks that TV people are usually beautiful, okay? He disagrees and he gives uh, an opposite idea, all right? Okay? Next. Part two, we want to uh, focus on how to add reasons to the discussion. So if you agree with a previously stated argument, okay, an argument that has been uh, stated before, okay, by the other person, if you agree with that, you can add a reason to feed the conversation. What does it mean to feed the conversation? It means to make the conversation um, more lively, all right? Uh, to make it interesting, okay? Because you are talking to each other. So you want to make it interesting, uh, all right? It's interesting to know about uh, the other, uh, other opinions, all right? You see, this is what we have here. Um, Angie, she says, that's true. They are superficial and they don't deal with real life issues at all. So here, she just adds an additional reasons, an additional argument. Okay, so how to do that? You just take a phrase, a positive phrase, which means that you agree with what has been previously uh, said. I think so, too. And then you give your additional argument. Okay? Like Angie uh, said, did. Okay, so for example, personally, I think romantic movies are silly. They give people unrealistic expectations. Okay, so here you have an argument. Person B agrees, that's true. Person B wants to add an additional argument about this idea, okay? An additional reason about this idea, why he agrees. Because he thinks that they are so superficial, they don't deal with real life issues at all. Okay, this is another reason. Okay, and when you do like that, it makes the conversation more interesting. Okay, you express yourself. You uh, okay? It's 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 good. Do this. Okay, give reasons. Next part three: seeing the other side. So, what do we want to do here? The other side is um, an opposite idea, okay? Uh, an argument that is opposed 
to what has been uh, said before. So you can also add an argument that contradicts contradicts it means opposes what has been stated previously even if you partly agree even if you partly agree all right so to do this you need to use but to introduce your argument okay okay let's look at the example here person a says i think romantic movies are silly they give people unrealistic expectations okay person a agrees okay that's true but he sees the other side he wants to talk about the other side okay uh, add an argument that contradicts that opposes partly all right this is the other side and what is the other side of this okay this is negative romantic movies are silly they give unrealistic expectations this is a negative side of romantic movies but we have a positive side here the positive side of romantic movies is at least they don't encourage people to commit crimes okay this is uh, what person b thinks as a positive side of uh, romantic movies about romantic movies okay so you understand of course usually you always have a negative side and a positive side okay so when you discuss with someone it's interesting to try to find the other side okay if you if you are uh, talking about negative aspects of violent movies okay maybe there is a positive aspect of it you have to find it you have to talk about it okay okay so to conclude this lesson use arguments reasons to support your thesis id opinion okay and even if you agree with uh, an, uh, someone else opinion try to add even more reasons to make the conversation more interesting okay make the conversation interesting all right try your best to add a lot of arguments all right if you think like this if you have this opinion you must have arguments right you must have have reasons in your mind okay so just just tell them okay express yourself as much as you can okay use the language as a vehicle for your ideas okay all right so thank you guys um that was the last online lesson for speaking for goodbye thank you